please welcome the archer. Black come the archers now. Sergei Kristic of Kazakhstan, Kim Jong Ho of Korea. Kristic, the 33 year old, already a medalist here. Silver medalist in the team's event. Just missed bronze in a shoot off in the mixed team's event. In target number one, we have Sergei Kristic from Kazakhstan. World ranking at the moment, 109. Kim Jong Ho from Korea. And here's Kim Jong Ho, who's 25 in the world, but he has been as high as number three. Mustafa Ali. Back in 2018, gold medalist in the team's event was Kim. Finished second in the individual qualification, did Kim, with a score of 709. And Kristic was five points further back. Kristic has had some amazing results in the individual. He's had three matches. Two of them have been won in shoot-offs. Where he's been closest to the centre. Twice. On the same score with his opponents. So that was pretty tense stuff for the Kazakh archer. Now we see Kim to start this match. Kim starts with a 10. Kim scores and his wins in the individual. Nicky, 150, 149, and 149. He's been in really beautiful form. Uh, just dropping down below the 10. Yeah, we, I'd be happy with that finish. Now, can Kristich apply early pressure? X. Yes! Stellar last arrow from him. I've been impressed with Kristich through the, through the day so far today. He was... Very competitive in the earlier teams competitions, Nicky, and hopefully for Kazakh or fans of Kazakhstan archery, he can carry on that great form that we've just seen from him. Yeah, he's been strong throughout the tournament. Um, you know, when he's been shooting out here with his teammates, it gives you that kind of a taster of what it's like to be stood on this stage, and he's certainly been strong throughout. Well, he started beautifully, didn't he, with three tens. So just the one point drop by Kim in that first end. End number two in the second semi. I mean, what's kind of curious about both these arches is their unusual kind of twitch on their triggers. Um, you don't often see that, but they've both got a very similar style. Um, obviously, the Korean shooting a handheld release aid and the Kazakhstan athlete shooting with the wrist release, but they both kind of, you know, bounce a little bit on their triggers before they actually shoot. Hey. 
Oh, Christich perfect so far. X. Oh, three X's there from Kim. Yeah, Kim's got the flicky little pinky. And it's uh, the index finger for Christich. Okay, What's I think we've had here? a problem with the timing system. So, hmm. a judge perhaps, or the timing system has just uh, gone over. Someone's pushed the button too early, perhaps. So, I'm sure that'll be reset for him to have 20 seconds left to shoot this arrow. Well, it didn't have any impact on his momentum at all, did it? Could have easily done so, but Kristic recovered beautifully there, so he has the perfect 60 from 60 in these first two ends. Yeah, something like that sometimes just can just push you off your, your rhythm. But uh, yeah, again, he showed his strength, didn't he? Just sticking with his process, just nice and relaxed. Just carry on as normal. Oh, Kristic, that's a, a wonderful start for him. He's been in pretty good form all the way through. Just going back through the earlier scores. And there's mixed teams gold medal match. The men's teams, he finished with, uh, what's that, two, four, seven, eight. Seven tens out of eight, which is pretty decent. And he only missed one. He got uh, eight, a seven from eight in his in his uh, mixed teams match as well. So he's going pretty good today. Let's see if he can carry on. And Kim going pretty good too. He's only dropped the one point in number three. Ten. Nine. Didn't miss it by much, did he? Let's watch Kim's little finger and his thumb. It's his thumb which is on the trigger. Next. As opposed to the index finger on this wrist release. Ten. Both a little bit to the right, making an adjustment. Well, brilliant our archery from Kim. He's now got two perfect ends in a row. Nine. Oh, and no one just leaking ever so slightly to the right from Kristich. So now he trails by one, and what's been a very high quality match so far and Kim looks very settled on the shooting line as he enjoys a one point lead 89 to 88 oh, they didn't miss my much did they particularly that uh, first nine First hour of that last end from Kristich, but uh, he, one would get the feeling, Nicky, he needs to get back on that 10 streak to uh, to have any chance of of upsetting the Korean now. Yeah, he's got to keep keep up his normal process. I think he just went a little bit soft maybe with those shots, just going off to the right, but uh, he knows what he needs to do. So two ends to come in this semi-final. Kristich from Kazakhstan, trailing by one. X. X.
These shots are, um, I'd call them not pretty at the moment. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's going to just fall off in a minute, but he's keeping those tens in there. Ah, oh, Kristich back in touch there with three tens. It's as good as he can do in that fourth end. Now can Kim match him? Hey. You betcha. Brilliant effort from Kim. That's three Perfect ends in a row now. He's only dropped one point in the match. 119 out of a maximum 120. He's putting me on edge right now. <laughs> you can just see <laughs> these shots being a little bit punchy, a little bit conscious. Some movements creeping in, but he's not phased. You know, he's not showing any emotion with it at all. He's just getting on with the job. I keep going in the 10, but... This next end is the crucial one, the fifth and final. So can he keep up this confidence and not let the pressure get to him? Wow, well, yes, that's a very good question. And one will, which will be answered in just a moment. So Kristic looking pretty confident. But he trails by one, he, he knows. And he'll be trying hard to do exactly what he he just done in that last fourth end. Three tens in a row. Needs to do it again here. Last end of the semi-final. X. Well, that is superb from Kim. It's 10 consecutive 10s now. Nine. Much longer oh, hold, isn't have it? A big impact. Yeah, it's going to have a big impact, that score. Let's watch these movements there, those fingers. Conscious shot. Ten. That one had a better kind of follow through to it. Some of the others have been a bit dubious, but keep getting in the 10. Wow, oh, Sergei Kristic finishes with a 10. He's only dropped three points in the match, but Jong Ho has a big chance here to go to 149, and he does it. Brilliant stuff from Kim Jong Ho. He only drops a point in the match. And his brilliant scoring in the individual competition continues. His four wins have seen him win 150, 149, 149, and 149. It's amazing scoring from Kim Jong Ho, the 27 year old. He deserves to be in the gold medal match based on that form. And it is Kristic with a high score, too, of 147. That's, in fact, his best score of the individual competition, but it's not enough to get through to the gold medal match. Kim Jong-ho goes through, and Kristic will go to compete for the bronze. Well, an amazing performance from Kim there, Nikki. Yeah, it really was, you know, just dropping one point in that first end and uh, cleaning the rest of it. I mean, his form for me is not pretty. Um, he's uh, he's definitely punching it. He doesn't look like he's keeping that, that pressure, but he seems oblivious to it. And he's just sticking them in the 10 really nicely. I think he's going to be a great matchup for Abhishek Verma, and I'm really looking forward to that gold medal match.